Hey, I just wanted to do a quick video uh, and let you know, let you guys know, uh, young in my younger days, um, I did aspire to be a bodybuilder. I worked out, I lifted weights, things like that. Um, so I, it never never came out. Um, I was an athlete, played football, did college football. But my, my three favorite bodybuilders of all time, I just wanted to uh, let you know who they are. Before I do that, though, can you, you guys put a like on the video if you like it, um, subscribe to my page, and also um, put a comment on the video. Who are your three favorite bodybuilders of all time and why? So my first favorite bodybuilder of all time, okay, even though I never really saw him like in a competition or anything like that, but I did see the pictures of him and I love the way he uh, his physique was, was Sergio Oliva. He was Mr. Olympia uh, in, in the late 60s. Uh, he, he was probably one of the few guys who defeated, uh, the great Arnold Schwarzenegger. And to me, Sergio Oliva was the guy who set the standard for, for size, for the small waist, for the big arms. Guy had huge muscle bellies, had huge arms, huge legs. He just, his forearms were massive. His chest was huge, but he had a small waist. I believe his waist was 30 inches or less. I mean, just, just a huge bodybuilder. And I believe that he was the standard setter and for size um, that made everybody else want to have size. So my second bodybuilder of all time is, of course, the Austrian oak, Arnold Schwarzenegger. And um, Arnold, of course, was, uh, I believe, if I look at Arnold and Sergio, I think Sergio being a part of bodybuilding helped to create the Arnold that we all know and love. Um, I believe that Sergio actually defeated Arnold a few times and it, it made Arnold really know what he had to do to, to, to get better, to become Mr. Olympia himself. Of course, Arnold went on to win seven Mr. Olympia competitions, six in a row, came back and won a seventh. Um, one of the greatest physiques of all time. I mean, his chest was massive, his calves, his arms, um, just the vacuum. He was famous for those things. Um, Arnold also, uh, with his pumping iron and his movie career, also to also helped to put bodybuilding on the map. It took it out of places like Gold's Gym and things like that, and it put it on a worldwide scale. So Arnold is my second favorite bodybuilder of all time. And number three for me is Lee Haney. Uh, Lee Haney uh, was one of the uh, you know class. He still had a classic physique, but he had he was huge. He competed at about around two fifty. Um, his back. His chest, his small waist, his legs, just, you know, he was a total package, his traps. Um, I remember him saying something like, uh, after, in, in a bodybuilding competition, most bodybuilders wouldn't want to take their robe off until like, until they had to go out. He says that when he came in the posing room in the back, in the, in the warm-up room, he would immediately take his off because he wanted them guys to know from, from the door that, hey, you got, there's no, there's no competition here. Um, the co competition is for second place, not for f first. He played mind games, just like Arnold. Arnold did that same thing. He played mind games with people. Um, intimidation, psyched them out. So those are my top three. Um, you know, Lee Haney, for example, um, probably, you know, he set the standard for the next generation, for the people like Dorian Yates and Ronnie Coleman and people like that. He gave them a standard to reach for. He made uh, uh, Dorian who he is. He, you know, Dorian made Dorian go in that next, take bodybuilding in the next level. So the three bodybuilders, my favorite three of all time, Sergio Oliva, Sergio Oliva Arnold Schwarzenegger, and Lee Haney. So once again, I want to know who yours are. Who are your three favorite bodybuilders of all time? Peace. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the page. Peace.